We all know how to get comfortable before sleeping. Slip under the covers, turn off the bedside lamp, close your eyes, and drift away to dreamland. But can you imagine trying to drift off while hanging upside down like a bat or standing like a horse? Do you think you could go months without sleep? It's all very weird, right? Today on Feed My Curiosity, we will look at some of the unusual ways in which different animals sleep. Subscribe to our channel if you like learning about science, technology, history, and other fascinating subjects. First, let's look at bats. These nocturnal creatures sleep around 19 hours a day, and while they're sleeping, they hang upside down. These are what bats are known for. They don't do it because it looks cool. They do it because their wings aren't very strong. They sleep while curled up, which helps camouflage them from predators. Bats aren't the only ones who sleep upside down. Sloths, who have a reputation of being slow and lazy, also sleep like this. Next, let's look at giraffes, horses, zebras, camels, elephants, and cows. For the most part, these guys sleep while standing. Their legs lock up and their muscles are disengaged. This is known as a stay apparatus. They sleep like this because they're much more vulnerable to attack when they sleep while lying down. It takes time for them to get back up and they need to rely on their speed to run away. If they do need to lie down, however, they do it for REM sleep and are often accompanied by buddies who serve as lookouts. Dolphins have their own interesting way of sleeping, but before we take a look at that, let's do a pop quiz. Why do bats sleep upside down? A. It's easier for them to eat. B. It's easier for them to hear incoming danger. C. It's easier to take flight. D. It helps with blood circulation. Do you think you know the answer? Then comment below. Dolphins have an interesting way of sleeping as they do so with one eye open and the other closed. This is also known as unihemispheric slow wave sleep, or USWS. When they close their left eye, the right side of their brain will sleep, and after a couple of hours, they will switch. One of the main reasons why they sleep like this is because they breathe consciously, or they'll always be thinking about how they breathe and when to breathe. USWS keeps dolphins from drowning or suffocating. It also keeps them on the lookout from potential predators that can hurt them. Meanwhile, sperm whales are a little different in this regard. Although it was thought that they sleep similarly to dolphins, this perception changed when researchers in northern Chile discovered a group of sleeping sperm whales. If they slept like dolphins, they would have noticed the researchers approaching. It wasn't until they were nudged that they woke up and fled. This led the researchers to believe that the sperm whales actually sleep in short periodic bouts near the surface throughout the day. If this is the case, then sperm whales would be the least sleep-dependent mammals. Finally, let's take a look at the koala. When it comes to how long they sleep, these guys are quite the opposite from sperm whales and are like brown bats and sloths. They sleep a lot. They can sleep for up to 22 hours a day. This is because of their diet. Although they eat eucalyptus leaves, it's also toxic, so their digestive systems have to put a lot of work to remove the toxins and consume the nutrients. Because of that, they don't get much energy from eating, thus sleep all the time. We have explored some of the unusual ways in which different animals sleep. Do you know of any other animal that might have weird sleeping habits that we should know about? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel if you like learning about science, technology, history, and other fascinating subjects. And now, on to the results of our pop quiz. Why do bats sleep upside down? A. It's easier for them to eat. B. It's easier for them to hear incoming danger. C. It's easier to take flight. D. It helps with blood circulation. If you said C. It's easier to take flight, then congratulations, you are correct. If you weren't, don't worry, you can always try again in our next video. Thank you for joining us on Feed My Curiosity. We'll see you next time. Take care.